Okay, so I'm starting by opening up a blank document. And then I'm going over to the text studio and I'm just typing in face. And then I'm dragging the picture that I want over to the document. And then I'm zooming out and on the move tool, I'm just going to resize the image. And then once it's positioned, I'm going to zoom in and I'm clicking on the pen tool and I'm changing the mode to smart and I'm drawing the selection quite close to the edge of a face and making sure to follow the curves. And then I've joined in the two ends up when I've got the shape that I want. And then I've clicked on edit mode, which will allow me to change it if I click on the little dots. And I just want to make more of a curve in the lines, so the lines aren't as straight. And then I'm going to click use fill, which has filled that selection with white. I've then clicked on the move tool and I'm duplicating that curve and I'm changing the colour to black. And then dragging the top curve down until I can see some of the white beneath it. Because the white bit is going to be where the face goes in and the black is going to be where I add the picture of the stars. I'm then clicking on the white curve and on the colour wheel I'm going to colour select one of the lighter parts of the skin. And then I'm adding a pixel layer and I've changed the colour to black. And I've painted over that skin coloured bit. And I'm bringing the opacity down. And I'm changing the blend mode to overlay. I'm doing the same again but I'm not going to paint over all of it. And again I'm bringing the opacity down and I'm keeping that normal. And then I'm doing the same again but I'm keeping it more towards the top. And then going back on the first one I did and I'm changing that back to normal. And 
and I'm changing the second one to overlay and also the last one. I've then rasterized it, which means it's all going to be one layer. And then I'm dragging the top curve onto the bottom one. So it sits inside the original shape rather than overlapping on the left. I've then gone back on the stock studio and I'm typing in universe. And I'm dragging over the picture that I want. And then I'm dragging that picture onto the black curve and on the move tool I'm going to resize it. I've then added a pixel layer which I'm dragging onto the curve and I'm going on the colour wheel and changing the colour to black and I'm going to start adding some shadow and I'm focusing this along the outside and then I'm bringing the opacity down I'm doing the same again but with a smaller brush. And then I'm changing that to overlay. And then I've gone back on the first one that I did just to lower the opacity a bit. And then on the colour wheel I'm going to colour select the dark blue. I'm dragging that pixel layer onto the woman. And then I'm painting that around the edges of her face. I'm changing that to soft light. And then I've just lowered the opacity and then I'm painting that blue a little bit on her arms and hair. And now I need to add that blue onto the part of her face that goes in. So I've added another pixel layer. And then I'm dragging that onto the bottom curve. I'm changing that to overlay. Now I just want to add a bit more blue light onto the woman, so I've added another pixel layer, but I'm using a smaller brush. I'm 
and changing that to overlay. And I brought the opacity down. I've then added a brightness and contrast adjustment which I've dragged onto the second curve so it's going to affect the universe picture and I'm bringing up the brightness and contrast. And then on the filter studio I'm clicking the box that says add light filters which just means I can go back and edit it if I need to. And I'm then going on blurs and then I'm going on depth of field blur, which I'm gonna drag to the top of the layers. And I'm keeping the center circle focused on the universe picture. And then I'm bringing up the clarity and vibrance. And then I'm bringing the radius up as well. And then if I click protect alpha, it just means it won't affect the edges of the picture. I'm then adding a HSL adjustment, which I'm dragging onto the woman and I'm bringing the saturation down a little bit. And then I'm adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure down. I've then added a pixel layer and I'm making the brush bigger. And I'm using the same blue and I'm just going to paint that over the woman's face. And then I'm going to change that to screen. And then just want to add some more shadow in the universe picture so I've added another pixel layer and I've dragged that onto the bottom curve and I just want to focus this more on the left. And I'm going to bring the opacity down. And then I'm just adding a bit more to the right. I've then added curves adjustment and I'm bringing the whites down and I'm bringing the blacks up just a little bit. And then just going through the colour channels and I'm just adjusting the colours until 
I have the colors how I like it. And then I'm adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure up. And then with the colour on black, I'm just painting around the edges of the photo. And then I'm going back on the brightness and contrast adjustment and I'm bringing down the brightness and the contrast a little bit. And then I'm adding an exposure adjustment and I'm bringing the exposure up. 